Warning, this video is intended for audience who are 13 or older. If you are not 13 or older, please fuck off and tell your parents to moderate what you watch online. William, hey. Yeah. Hey, did you notice someone wearing the fucking uh, Finn's hat from Adventure Time in this episode? Wait, what are you talking? Wait, 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 wait. Did you not see that? Wait. There was just like a random background here that had Finn's hat from Adventure Time. It what? fucking threw me out of the what? episode. No, wait, you mean from, like, the, from the hacker group? Yeah. Wait, who? Hold on, now. No, now it wasn't the hacker. It was like, it wasn't the three talkie people, right? It was like, like an actual background, uh, background, uh, person. It fucking threw me out the loop of this episode. Holy shit! Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll, 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 I'm trying to find the timestamp again. It, it's when they're doing the stupid hacking battle, right? And we see the pan, the pan of the of the group and everything. Oh right, the, uh, the big pan where it zooms out when everyone gets blown up. That kind of thing. Uh, hold on, let me see. Uh, fuck, I'm trying to find it again. It fucking threw me threw me off so much. Oh wait, hold on, out hold on, because I'm looking at it now. It's uh at 11:09 at least on my time step. Oh, you mean the guy on the very left that's like down on the ground? Uh, let me let me. Let that's me the see, closest uh... guy that I can see so far right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, yeah, no. At I think okay, here's a uh, you see it better at at uh, at uh let, let me see where is it at uh at at ten at ten thirty. All right. You see the hat? Wait, you get a way better shot. Oh, yeah, hat. I see. <laughs> yes. I was watching this episode. Then I saw that, right? I was like, all right, this stupid techno jumble world where everyone lives in a technological utopia while everyone else around them, while all the other kingdom lives in the sum, is pretty believable, you know, right? I can totally <laughs> believe this country has developed technology, right? But then I saw this guy with the fucking adventure time fence hat. I fucking, and it just, my, 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 my disbelief of this world was shattered. That's where I drew the line, <laughs> Liam. That's where Everything that's where this. your suspension of disbelief just fell off. You're like, no, I can't that's believe right. in this world that's, anymore. <laughs> that's why. Look, William, I can believe giant. I can believe humanity worshiping giant mechanical insect bugs, right? Okay. But as soon as the person with an adventure type, I was like, oh, that's it. I'm out. I'm out. It's over. I, it's over. This is now. This is what I consider. This is how I went this from historical fiction to science fiction. You know? Oh my god. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. So everything else seemed historically <laughs> accurate. For beforehand oh right? yeah you know right look look what do you mean was it rascal R rochelle whatever the fuck uh, someone what? i don't know <laughs> fuck fuck what's this god it's gonna look, look the series still too new for us so uh so it's gonna take for us to remember the name um rest restless right Look, what do you mean? He just wants to build the wall. He wants to make uh, the Necotopia Empire to build the wall and pay for it, you know, oh right? That's God. believable, you know? No, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, like, okay, so you found that to be the thing that breaks your suspension of uh, disbelief. Rather, as compared <laughs> to so the funny. actual hacking battle that they had right in front of you, where they legit just did this, the, the whole thing. No, 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 wait, 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 have you never watched any television media? That's how hacking battle okay. works, all you right, know, right? All right, all right, all right. Please. Have you never, have you never watched NCIS, okay, you know? Hold on, I need to know, <laughs> uh, what was the name of that movie with Hugh Jackman where he was a hacker? <laughs> Fuck, but it was a movie. It was, it was Swordfish, was I think, or something like that, right? Okay. I think it was. Sure. I think it was Swordfish. It had Halle, uh, Halle Berry in it. I want to say. And the thing is, he yeah, did Swordfish. Uh -huh. some... Don Cheeto. What the fuck? Don Cheeto was in this movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. In John the... Travolta. Yeah, there was. A, there was a number of people. Well, what the fuck? Look. This is just what a, what a cast. Have you this never one, seen? Okay, that movie? that's why I draw the line. All right, this is why I draw the line in our reality. All right. <laughs> Swordfish the movie. Everything about my life, I was living in, in, in blissful ignorance. But now that I found out about this movie called Swordfish, I draw the line here. You okay. know, put me back into the pond. Wait. You know, I, I, give, give me, give me, give me the, give me the fuck, uh, red blue pill. The red pill. Red pill. I mean, I, yeah, I hesitate the red to pill. use red pill if only because of the current connotation of what people use with that. Currently, yeah. right now. All but, right, that's yes, right. Red I'm, hey, look, William, I'm gonna stay on the record in the audio podcast right now. I want to be red pilled right now. You okay, know, right? you know what? Get me, you know what? Get go me, ahead. get me red pilled. Okay, yeah, go ahead, go get red pilled. I won't stop you. Let me know how that that's goes right. in six months. Well, you, William, I don't get forty yards. William is introducing me to getting red pilled. You know, I am getting <laughs> red pilled from William right now. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, it's not me. I'm, like, I'm just telling you it's a thing. This, movie. this is your fault. Oh my god. It's just because the thing is, that whole hacking battle that they have in, in this episode where they're just like randomly tapping on keyboards to make it seem like they're actively hacking and to make it cool and shit. That's what they did in Swordfish. It was bullshit. It's all bullshit. Because that's not how hacking works at all. We, You and I both know this. I'm pretty sure the bots that are listening to this know this as well. But, you know... I'm surprised you haven't seen Swordfish at all. Honestly, it's actually a bad no, movie. It's, it's a bad like, no. movie. It is so bad. Mm. If we were still doing Boy, hey, you know what? Hey, if we that. still did a movie yeah, exactly. podcast, <laughs> that would have been on the docket for us to review. Yeah, you know, you know what? Maybe one day. Never say never. Uh, oh, you're right. Mm-hmm. When I when I have hey, hey, I'm William. Hey, look, William. We go to Wakanda this episode. Yeah. Yeah, we do go to Wakanda. Well, it ja- was boy, they, was man, they weren't hiding the fact when they did this fucking when they did that bit. Oh you no, know? yeah, they just went straight through. It's like, oh yeah, hey, uh, high tech. Hey yo, hey look, we've seen do. Black Panther. You know, yeah, we've right? seen Black. <laughs> They've seen Black Panther clearly as well. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I don't like, but hey, when they did that bit, I was like, wow, man, they're not hiding that fact. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they didn't yeah. hide it at all. They just went straight. That was a, what, that was a Black Panther visual ripoff right there. <laughs> oh, my hey, look, God. Hey, look, we're in uh, Neo, Neopetopia. Uh, yeah, ne- pff, Neopet. I was going to go with Tamagotchi, but all right. <laughs> yeah, we call it wherever we want. No. Yeah, right? because they, can, they call their, their, their fucking kingdom... Uh, what is, how do you pronounce it? Nksopa? Nksopa? So it's it's weird. Yeah. It's weird, man. I'm not used to this pronunciation at all. It's good. No, no, no. It's it's really fucking weird. I, I don't know how to fuck any, anyone deals with this in this fucking world, you know, right? Yeah, true, true. Uh, that, maybe this is a world where they needed where where they needed fucking um they needed an Englishman to come to come and tell them to open their ports to be introduced to the Western world, you know, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you see all how that go, right? Because in this context, that's that's the kind of, uh, what the fuck? Sh- sugar them? Sh- sh- yeah, sugar them. Yeah, but, but the problem is they don't. Look, see, the part of Rasmus doesn't have Commodore Matthew Perry to, to go there, you know, right? Oh, yeah. If, if, he had Commodore, <laughs> if he had Commodore Matthew Perry, all this would, all this would have been solved, you know, right? Yeah, don't don't worry. The, 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 look, the next the next best thing they had was the uh, the dictator King Douchebag, all right? That's all they mm-hmm. had. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, and Zootopia looks like uh, looks like the most hipster-looking fucking city oh, ever. Yeah, it, I, I hate really I hate does. how everyone is dressed. It's like here. it's like so like it's so weird because it's just like we acknowledge like on the one hand most of everything everybody else is just like medieval esque, right? Because they still have tech, they still have lights and everything. But then in here, oh. it's just like. This belongs in a sci-fi world, dude. Mm-hmm. It's so fucking wild. It's just like, how is this like, at the very least, um, because especially after later on in the episode, they do show off the power of the uh, of the um, Bugnarok, right? But like, yeah. Mm-hmm. So like, I can get why they would lose against Bugnarok, but like to everybody else, I'm like, there's no way you can lose. At this point, you have to be like the top dog. How are you not the top dog of this right? whole fucking place, dude? Uh, and as far as I can tell, their world is an, is not it's not like a it's not like Wakanda, where it's like actually a hidden secret from the rest of the world. Like like all the kingdom knows that Insectopia is a digital, technologically advanced world, right? No, yeah, but it's just it's like if if they right, if right? This, this is like whole... this is not like some hidden hidden secret where they're hiding from the rest of the world that they have vibranium. They just like, go around saying, "Hey, we have vibranium." Check it out. No, yeah, that's that the shit thing. on everything. So I'm just kind of like, if they, if they did this whole plot line where he was hiding the people, and he was just like, hey, I don't want anybody else. Yeah, yeah, like, our they were tech. actually doing this as what, like, as a Wakandan story type of storytelling, right? Where like, oh yeah, look, yeah, this is my, this is my kingdom. It has five people, and we're all poor, you know, right? We have yeah. no export, and we get bullied by. Hey, but check out, hey, look, check out behind this rock. This is my real kingdom. We got J-pop <laughs> over here. We got K-pop, you know. We we got we got we got our stupid idol units, you know, right? Yeah, it's like this is how you know we're superior because we can afford culture. <laughs> That's right. Mm-hmm. Oh god, I'm waiting for the intro. I'm waiting for it right now. Yeah, I know, right? The fact that we're still, we we're about to say, and there still isn't an actual intro yet for this show is crazy, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Right. I, it, maybe it's making me curious if they're actually gonna wait till episode like, to like episode six to actually show the actual no, show's intro, yeah, right? Because it's just kind of like it's just them saying, oh yeah, this right, cause, happened. Because the, the way that the storytelling no. is going right now is that he's definitely um uh was it a uh, Gira? 
yeah, right? Yeah. Is visiting is what is going one by one to every kingdom and meeting them. Yeah, essentially meeting the rules. Yeah, and it's just like like I like I'm fine with how they're kind of like the, with the intro just being like, oh yeah, this is what happened beforehand. All right, this is how mm-hmm. we how we transfer into the episode here. This is like the in- transfer into the actual content of the episode, and then we get into it, right? I'm fine with that myself, but I'm just kind of like, man, we haven't had like an actual actual opening yet, you know? Mm-hmm. It's kind of it's just been cold opens, and that's about it, and then the title screen. Yeah. So like, I don't mind uh, it so far, but I'm just kind of like surprised by it. Um, right. Right, but like they get into this whole fucking uh, utopia esque place, and then I guess what we have Gira basically. Uh, no, I forgot they had this weird bit. Like it still weirds me out a bit. Like I didn't mind it so much, but it's just like once we get into the center of the kingdom, uh, Yanma basically starts like basically putting on a playlist, and then just kind of like stands there for a little bit, right? Just showing. I was like, hey, look at this fantastic looking core that I have here. Look at this <laughs> shit. It's pretty fucking yes. cool, right? He's like just showing off. <laughs> And then, uh, fucking... Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, hey, look, uh, I, I, I stated earlier in one of our previous... I forgot which one. I fucking hate his retainer so much. I don't like this guy. I don't trust this guy. This guy looks like he should not be near children, right, and everything. I hate... Boy, his... Boy, hey, look, I, I, I'm not... Look, 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 I have no problem with overacting in shows and everything, right? But this guy is really, really trying too hard with this character. Honestly, I just feel like he's just... It's like... His character is kind of like the whiny, um, what, uh, fucking, uh, over-anxious character type of deal. But in he, it's just like, it's like, it, it should be at, like, maybe a 7 for him. But he cranks it up to maybe mm-hmm. a 15. So it gets a little, to be a little too much, you know? Because he's just right. kind of, yeah. just like, kind of overpowered. Like, I don't, I don't want this attitude in my face right now, my guy. I don't need this. Take your energy. Right, like, like, yeah, right. And then Yama and Gus is definitely tired of him. Just hey, get the fuck out of here. Shut, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> you know. Yeah, basically, he's just like get get the fuck out of my face. And then it's just like, mm-hmm. I think we're having like this whole this, like conversation. Like th- he's being all, a worry wart and shit. But Gira and Yama are having a conversation. Yeah, about, yeah he's like, like he's like, oh, interna- right? international incident, you know, right? I don't want that, you know, right? Don't want the UN, you know, right? It will be really bad if we get if our country gets invaded and the UN does something, you know, right? To stop this other country from invading our country, you know, and bombarding <laughs> our our country, you know, right? We definitely. We definitely would not like for the UN to intervene, you know, right? Hey, UN, are you ever going to intervene and stop that other country from bombing that other country? You know, <laughs> it's like we're waiting right? on it for any. Uh, we're waiting for a response any second now. Any, any. Se- oh, there's another bomb. Uh, any second now. You know, <laughs> that's basically right, kind of how it is. And look, wait. Have you also been waiting? For our weekly unnamed okay. discussion the series about other Osama intro that we Sasaki Goldberg and weekly discussion series. Well, I also a person who definitely remember we have this stupid <laughs> intro bit. And you're here from my friend Will. That's you, Will. A person who likes to write the letter Z all over his car after we talk. Wait, and about the latest Super what? Sentai season, <laughs> Osama <laughs> Sentai King Oger, a king for who, for whose sake? Oh my God. Uh, also, okay. So, now that we're getting into it, now, properly, after we did it, well, how long was that? Hold on. How long was our cold Fuck, open? Was our 13-minute cold open, okay, well, I, I, people? Look, I, look, you know what they say, you know, right? Look, and, and look, you can't get any colder than cold, you know? Uh, coldest? Coldest? That's colder than <laughs> cold. Know, that- uh, nah, that's, that's not real. Cold? No, it's it's totally real. What are you talking about? It is a term in our language. It exists, okay? It's an act. Uh, it's real, okay? We're not having this argument. It's real. <laughs> but uh, then bugs invade. <laughs> yeah. Right. And um, also, they really just got in there quick. They didn't even like have to go past the shield. It's like, hey, we're here now. Look at yeah, that. They just walk in, you know? <laughs> they literally yeah. just walked in, and they're like, okay, we gotta go take care of this threat. And then, so, they all come down, and save the citizens. Also, thing I wanted to point out, because you did mention that they might ch- be changing this later, but we still haven't had a full, um, I'm pretty sure at this point, this is the full uh, transformation sequence that we're getting, where they get into a chrysalis, uh, their version of the, um, the bug gods, whatever they control, sl- mm. basically slaps into them, and then they transform, and that's about it. Yeah, I, look, it's crazy how we still don't have like a full. I I think still think we're waiting for all five members to come together. 
Actually, people react yeah. actual. Yeah, I can see that right? happening. If we're also, like... but I, I, I hate, boy, so I say that how I think this sword is the coolest looking uh, Sentai sword in a while, right? Right. But fuck, I hate how this thing transformed. It is the most fucking inconvenient thing I've ever fucking seen. Holy shit. Yeah, it doesn't exactly lend itself to like quick transformations. We have to press like five of those like um I guess levers in a certain sequence, and then you transform. You know. Because right? I feel like at some it's point... It's such a fucking mess. Yeah, I mean, it's just, like, I kind of, like, uh, like again, the, the swords look cool, but it's just, like, if it was yeah. just, like, a quick, like, like one-tab button yeah, if, thing, if, that, like, uh-huh, maybe right? corresponds like, to Because if you look at the sword, like, you can definitely see that there is, like, a, there is every single bug is represented on the on the sword. Mm-hmm. Um, was it? Not, not handle. Gu- uh, the, guard? Guard, right? The guard rest or something like that, yeah. Yeah, right, right. You can see that all five bugs, right? I don't understand why they have to press all five bugs. Like, it makes sense if, like, Gira, the Red Ranger, just fucking does his. Yeah, he just does, does the thing. red, right? Like, just one, one, like, one click of it. And then, you know, you let the, the music go. And, and then he just But no, he has to fucking go and touch all of them. Like, why the fuck? I just, it's like a fucking, so, hey, someone on, on a certain site where I go to read, on, on a cer- certain site where I, uh, where I read it, you know, uh-huh. made a joke about this thing being, uh, being the stupid bop it toy. Right? <laughs> and I didn't understand the context of that image until now. Now I understand. <laughs> It's literally now like, I understand. What, it's it literally is a bop it toy though, like it just doesn't yeah, tell you. Yeah, it's so shit. fucking annoying. Like, is there like personally? I was like, I, I'm I was waiting to, for it to be more of a, kind of like maybe when all five are together, maybe they do like their special power up, and then that's when they all have to do it in sequence to kind of like show their teamwork or something like that. That I would have really mm-hmm. appreciated, or like to actually like, um. Like, maybe they had to collect the pieces from each other, and then once they trust each other, maybe then they have a super power-up. Because they're going to get a power-up form at some point, I'm assuming. So that, yeah, then, yeah, yeah. then I would have appreciated that a lot more. But it's just kind of like, it's a lot, it's just it's just really cumbersome. That's really all I can really say. It's so inconvenient, you know, right? Yeah. You imagine having to transform, you forgot your fucking, yeah, forgot it's like, your fucking sequence. It's like, it's like, oh wait, was it red, then blue, then purple, then yellow, then black? Or was it red? black yellow or you, you can see the point right so, so that's the thing right i was looking at it so as so i don't know if you know, so the way that gira does it gira does it so he pressed his red beetle first all right oh hold on he I does red beetle first and then he goes um okay all right if you look at his he goes beetle first then prey mantis butterfly um dragonfly b so he goes beetle then he goes from i guess from his point of view is left to right all right 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 okay so he does he does red and then he goes left to right on the rest of the on the rest of the of the of the trinket on the rest of the pop it right. Right. But for Yama Gus, he does blue. He does his dragonfly first, right? Which makes sense, right? Because he's right. the blue ranger, yeah. right? He has no reason. But if you watch his thing, he does. After he does blue, you would think then he would do you would he would do black, yellow, purple, red, right? No, he does blue, yellow, purple, black, and then he ends with red, which I think wow. Well, this is even worse. Why can't you? Why can't these sequences like at least make sense? Like it makes sense yeah, if you I start with your know, primary I mean, color they, they and then you do some, left like, or right. Assuming, but he does his I'm primary color, then he does. The thing is, at this point, like they're doing a good amount of setup and explanations on some things, but like. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah uh-huh, but I'm just uh-huh. hoping. I'll, I'll, I'm hoping they'll explain the sequence later on. That's just all. Yeah. I'm and it, it's so it's so cumbersome. I don't like this transformation. I don't like how they have to pop this. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, use a, fuck, is that what that toy's called, by the way? A bop it? Yeah, it's actually called a bop it. Because it's just like, bop it, twist it, pull it. You know, oh, turn okay, it. yeah, it's actually called bop it. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah. What? And what? Then, 15 bucks? What? 15 bucks from Amazon? <laughs> Seventeen dollars from Amazon. Why the fuck? Dude, is- I have to. T- I have to talk about this because it just popped up when I have the video playing in the background. Because they're in the okay. middle of the fight, but talking about weird shit that they use. The bugs use bugs as bullets. <laughs> Right. Yeah. yeah. You know how weird that is? Because, like, they pull out the gun, and then they shoot, but then you have this, like, uh, slow motion part, mm-hmm. where, like, out of the barrel of the gun, you see, like, a, a bug come out, basically just a smaller version of the bigger ones that they're fighting, and they're just, like, doing, like, the fucking worm in the middle of the air as they're flying towards their deaths. Like, what the <laughs> It's yeah. so wild. Uh, also, hey, also, they're really going hardcore that, that these bugs 
actually bleed. They're actually right. Oh and no, yeah, because like, they have that whole like they um, actually bleed. Yeah, they have they're that like the, the the black blood spurt that's happening whenever they're being killed or slashed or stabbed. Uh huh. I'm like, Jesus, wow. Wow, this is actually such a fucking, like, hey, look, hey, look, I mean, it's black blood, right? No, you yeah, so it's kid-friendly. But still, that that's case. so hardcore for, like, something like a satire. Even Kamen Rider, like, doesn't do, doesn't do, like, these weird splats. They do spark, right, to show energy, right, right like, yeah. power, you know, right? But since they're actively showing, like, blood, be like, oh, man, yeah, I mean, yeah, kill, kill, murder's cool, you know, right? <laughs> yeah, tear, 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 tear no, off no, that no, ligament, no, you know? No, you have to remember, killing bugs is cool, okay? Because they oh. are fighting bug people. Alright. No, bugs aren't real people. They're second class citizens, you know, right? <laughs> Look, that's what oh, no, no, that's... actually, no. Wait, no, the bugs are third classes because they, they have to go underground. No, I don't even, uh, I don't even think they're a third class at this point. They have to be, like, some new tier low class. Oh, do you think thing. they're not even Dude. recognized as actual living Dude, things they're... by, by, by the, by the Sogadem Empire? No, not even, by no, the not Alliance? even by, no, by their own people. Because the thing is, they're literally using bugs as ammunition. So they're considering their lives useless and only good for like look your life is only good if you end another person's life that's literally what i'm getting at with this or what i'm getting from this show because they literally use bugs as ammunition and they don't use it sparingly they go hard they waste that ammo on those rangers they don't care it's like man i hope this one bullet this guy whose life is his only purpose is to kill another person i hope he's not a waste of a shot no they just go for it man they just go mm -hmm. for it. Right, yeah. <laughs> no, look, 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 look. We can breed these things, you know, right? You know, right? We can breed them for as much as we want. Right? We can look, you know, right? We, 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 look, we, we got a we, we, we got, we got a little farm where we're breeding these, Wait, breeding do, these do, things. Wait, do you think that's their, their, that's their solution for population control? Just using, like, whatever, like, newly formed bug is out there as ammunition? It's like, oh, well, we have too much. All right, you're a bullet now. Get in, get in the chamber. Right now. Right in here. You see this? Yeah. This is your new home. Get in here right now. <laughs> I mean, isn't that how it actually works in, in, the, like, in, like, the insect kingdom, where if a population just gets too much, they actually start cannibalizing each other for population control? Wait, is that a thing? Isn't that a thing? Don't they actually do that? I don't know if that's a thing or not. I figured that they most they just stop reproducing. It's like, oh, well, we're missing Jerry from the last battle with the other ant colony. <laughs> we're missing Larry and uh, ha um, Hodge over there. So we're okay. We're good for three more kids. You, you, anyone down? You know that's basically how I see. It. I didn't know they actually cannibalize. I figure if anything, if they I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, like, I mean, the praying mantis, right? It's like how the praying mantis eats the male's head, right? Uh, I, I assume. It's, I mean, that's just kind of. I mean, I don't really look into the specifics of praying mantis physiology or whatever. They, I mean, I mean, I'm like, that's like the example. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, within the bug kingdom, right? Like they. They they do they do cannibalize each other like, right for yeah, for yeah I mean I get that if but I feel like at least for the praying mantises it's only because like man like they, like for one they were really fucking horny they fuck right but then afterwards like <laughs> you know they like man I'm hungry I could go for like a sandwich I don't have a sandwich <laughs> oh I do have yeah. him I'll just take his head and eat it you know at least that's how like I guess for a praying mantis that makes sense but I feel like if you're gonna cannibalize um in terms of insects right and I feel like it's only because if there's a major, like, um, what do you call it? Like, there's a major issue with the flu food supply. You know, like, they're not getting enough food. Mm. They do that for survival, that kind of thing, as a last resort. Right. So I, that's how I view it. I don't know if it's a regular thing in bugs or, like, any... Mm. any, any hey, look, yeah, boy, hey, look, right. we are not bug experts, you know, right? Hey, let the audience know. You and me are not people who study entomology, a right? Entomology, right? Right. I think uh -huh. so. Right, we, we're bug not... Studies. Yeah, we're not those people. Yeah, we don't, we but don't anyway, hey, that. look, the the leader, the great evil, has tentacles. You know, he's like yum 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 yum. Oh my uh, god, that man legit came out of nowhere. I'm actually really glad that they entered like we saw them before, but I'm glad that there's some interaction between the main character and the actual. Right, villain. we actually get an actual introduced. Like we actually see them interact, yeah, right? And, and this guy is way more fucking horrifying when you see him up close. Well, it took me a while to figure where the fuck his eyes are. You know. Wait. When they when they first showed. Oh wait wait wait. Are you saying uh, have I have I been thinking that their eyes are in a different place entirely? Because. Boy, I could I didn't know where the fuck his his face was. I'm look right. So what is it at at, uh, at 7:42? You get a good close up of his face, right? Right. Hold on. Right. Yeah. 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 So wait. Of of, of dark of dark nov dark norv the the eighth right. Yeah, death or something. What like that, do you yeah. think his eyes are? 
I thought they were those were all of them, all the yellow and orange, right? Yeah, right. I was like, I didn't, I didn't see like a good close up of his face before, so now that I'm actually seeing it now, I'm like, I just wait, wait, this guy's way more horrifying when, uh, when you actually see him up close, right? Oh, yo, yeah, for sure. Honestly, I mean, <laughs> especially because like this man made an entrance. Like this is a mm. good villain entrance for me because this is like this man yeah. literally comes out is like hey oh no he clearly states his goal he states his desire right he clear he's the man who's clearly stating his motive right he's not leaving it up to mister right he's not hiding it he's like oh no 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 I'm here for revenge you know right oh no yeah, yeah. for sure and it's just like he says oh the only reason I'm not killing you now. And because the thing is, he legitimately could have at that moment. He's like, I just want your mechs. Just hand them to me, right? So it's, mm-hmm. it's like, it gives a good excuse as well as to, like, because they show off how powerful he is, but also gives a good excuse as to why he doesn't eliminate them in the first place. Because he's after something else. And it's like, for some reason, he can't get them on his own. So he's asking for them to hand it over. So yeah, I'm like, right. this is a good way to just show that, like, your enemy is powerful, but not dumb. Mm-hmm. And that they're after something. Yeah. So they're like, mm-hmm. yeah. So it's pretty good so far, at least in terms of villain introductions, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and 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 then, and then he murders millions of people. I, you know, well, right? supposedly, mur- well, actually, yeah, no, he's well, probably well, has well, yeah. murdered. Oh, you're right, you're right. Those were all just empty building. That was a that was five miles worth of empty building. Look, you all, know, right? look, all I'm saying is that with those buildings, when he when he cut them down, it would have been it would have really helped if we saw some black blood uh, black blood sp- <laughs> spatter. All right, so I know people are dying. <laughs> okay, then it would have then then I would have known for sure. But if I didn't see it, then that means there are no people in the buildings. We're fine. Okay. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, after that whole like, honestly, fa- still fantastic villain introduction. Still fucking love it. But after that, he's just like, all right, I'm out. See you guys later. And then uh, fucking, you know, everyone's just picking up the pieces. And then, mm-hmm. as they're doing that, then the fucking dickhead dictator just comes in with this fucking... Also, here's my thing. Because, Boy, now uh, that I think on it, right? Because the thing is, he sends in the blimp, right? And then as he, gives, yeah, he gives that message, like, hey man, you didn't join the UN, go fuck yourselves, that kind of thing. You better come yeah, to be uh-huh. right, uh, on your knees begging for forgiveness and to join, us, join with us, right? Yeah, yeah. But, we established earlier that they're in, like, a bubble, right? Uh-huh. So... My thing is, they're in that bubble to hide because they have they that's it's the skies and everything. So then, how is it that they know where he is to give that message, right? I think he, he was just recording that. I think he was just recording the the recording it to the balloon, right? He's just hijacking the signal, like, hey, here's my message, you know? No, yeah, but here's my right? here's my thing. So like, if they can find it. Oh, like, uh, like, 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 how the fuck he knew that the city was just attacked? Yeah, how did he know right? they were just attacked? How did he know where they were there? Uh, in very general? convenient, you know. I think he was like hoping, boy, you know. I hope by the time I, I record this message, you know, the that city gets attacked, you know, right? Yeah, but my thing is, it's just it's, <laughs> no. First off, exactly right. But like, the thing is. It's just like, what's the point of secrecy if everybody knows where you are? At this point, it's an open secret, and it doesn't matter. Why do you have the walls? Why do you have the disguise? What's the point? Like, I know it makes for a cool entrance for a kid to watch, but I'm just like, but why, though? But why? Mm. (laughs) It makes no sense, logically. And it's just just like, alright, I guess we just have this here to kind of show off that we can hide even though nobody's... Yeah, boy. Like, hey, look, like I said, look, 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 look. The this, like Neopetopia's plan. Not real smart, it turns out. You know, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, not ever, not everybody's perfect. You know. Yeah. But right, yeah. So yeah, so yeah, so Rascal says like, hey, uh, give me, give me, uh, uh give, give, give me the fugitive, and and I'll give you, and I'll give you humanitarian aid. You know, right? Right. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just give me one person else. Hey, and and then tell you, and then tell your king to bow down before me and admit that he was wrong. You know, right? Yeah. And then of course, if, if you want your humanitarian aid. Yeah, and then of course everybody in the city, who is I'm assuming it's just these fifty people that are left over after everyone has been killed and demolished from that attack. Oh wait, 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 no, 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 like you said, there was no blood. No, oh, one no died. You're, yeah, you're right. It's still a city full of people. Don't worry about it. They're all still good. Mm-hmm. They're all still alive. Yeah. But then, uh, 
everyone's just understandably just kind of pissed off because of, of what happened and then they're like you know what i'm gonna dethrone you hacking battle right now and we, we already talked about the hacking battle we didn't we don't yeah, need to talk boy, about how this stupid is it fucking is. great this thing is really fucking stupid and great <laughs> it's just like i get it because you need to have some action for the kids to watch and like make it look cool and shit but like uh -huh. really that's not how hacking works and it just kind of uh, well, I, 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 it's really great how everyone is just randomly moving their fingers right 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 how is television hacking and that's how hacking actually works you know. <laughs> right, yeah, and, and apparently, and apparently, the the way that they decide their next uh their next governing body, Space Invader. <laughs> yeah, just play Space Invader, the so, highest the highest form of technological advancement it's of so, entertainment. It's so silly, but I mean, at least at least it doesn't. At least people aren't dying from this. So, like, I uh -huh. guess no, that's it's great. Plus. There's also a scene when he does that group hacking battle, right? I I don't know if you noticed this, right? right? When everyone does the group, you you see one of the guys I was talking like the the, the red, he's slowly pressing his keys like a fucking idiot, like he's like he's never <laughs> like 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 he has never touched a computer before. He's like, oh wait, so all right, like, all right, all right. As compared to everyone who's just frantically tapping on either like a laptop or on their phone, because I've seen people just like frantically just one tapping on their yeah, phone. right, like, like people are frantically moving, right? He's like he's like he's a like, he's an actual eighty six year old guy who's never seen like oh fuck oh. Oh, well, well, a computer? Oh, okay, okay, God. A? All right, all right. So I know, all right, all right. I know A is next to B. So let me press B next. Oh, wait, no, that's an S. Uh-oh, uh-oh, where's the B button, you know, right? <laughs> yeah. Right? He's never seen an actual doing. key. He's just like, okay. All right, I hit that right. one. Now, where's the other one? Uh, let's yeah, right, see. Right. Where, let's, let's see. Okay, hold on, uh, let's see. A, a, B, C, D, E, F, J, right? He goes through the alphabet in his head yeah. to find out, like, oh, yeah. Right, but then he looks at it, like, oh, wait, hold on, wait. No, wait. The the the, the key aren't, aren't put alphabetically, you know? Like, oh, i never seen this before. Oh, my God. Yeah, honestly, dude. Uh, but, yeah, hacking battle, fun, but mm. dumb as shit. But, yeah, at yeah. this point, like, after he's just, like, the king is just, like, <laughs> I'm the best hacker around. Time to walk away back mm -hmm. to my fucking uh, throne. And then at that point, he's like, th then I think they're having, like, that discussion about, like, Gira, I mean, Gira is just like, why are you being so prideful? Just, like, bow down to the king and then save your people. Because, you know, Gira is just that kind of guy who's, like, save the people at any cost, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But then we get some backstory with uh, Yanma, where he's just saying, like, oh, yeah, we've been doing, like, the Shugadam's, like, fucking dirty work all these years. And yeah. then one hour is going up. Look, look, I, I've, seen, I've seen the injustice that the Shugadam kingdom uh, has done, you know, right? Right, right. And then he's just... Right, right, like, like, I was raised in the slum. I saw what he's done, you know, right? Yeah, and it's just like, I clawed my way up, and it's just so I could tell Sugar Dem to their face, fuck you. That's essentially what his character motivation is. And then he's just like, you know what, And I'm that's how I rose up to the top, that's how I'm gonna fucking stay. But then, you know, Gear is just like, oh, you hate, you hate that man. But your your people are suffering because of your pride. And he's like, you, aren't you like, exactly like him? That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You know, and then it's, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a great little uh, character confrontation between the two because they're like two two um, ideologies at odds. Because like you're literally just in the last episode experienced like the king only interested in his, uh, only, basically being self-serving dickhead and then you know, sacrificing people to uh, basically for his own ends, for his own consolidation of power. And he kind of sees that as a reflection in Yanma and he's saying he's telling him to his face. It's like. What you're doing right now is literally the exact same thing I saw last episode, dude. So, <clears throat> what I, from what I'm seeing from you, you're exactly the same. So, if you want to prove that you're better than him, maybe go ahead and fucking apologize and then, you know, save your people, that kind of thing. And it's a, it's a right, great, right. It's, a, it's a nice little, um, I think dictomy is the right word. It's a nice little dictomy that they're, or like, uh, duality that they're showing. Because, like, on mm -hmm. the one hand, he's he is doing this, like, or Yanma is doing this for, like, uh, basically for the betterment of his people but in his own different way and he's like mm -hmm. and gear is like right. viewing as like yeah but like the way i'm seeing it now is just shows that you're being exactly the same and so that puts yama as this kind of like man now i have to really think about what am i what i'm doing and everything because he does take a moment to kind of self-reflect and you know chug some soda i'm so i'm very surprised to have soda in this universe uh but then he's just kind of sitting around and then we cut to the next scene where they're like doing the mm -hmm. whole um prisoner exchange prisoner on. exchange right yeah yeah also like seriously 
Do it in neutral territory. Don't invade like a foreign kingdom that oh, you're not exactly buddy buddy with well, onto your kingdom. Well, there's nothing wrong with uh with signing this peace treaty in another in another nation, you know, right? You know, in in the other in the nation that's attacking us land, you know. They they mean a, look. They gave us this complimentary water bottle, you know, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. Look, they gave us the nicest hotel room on the 15th floor with an open window. <laughs> Ooh, what you 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 think a tyrannical emperor? A power hunting would would do something as nice for for other for other niches and void like this, you know, right? God. <laughs> Fucking. He also gave us he also gave us the key to this new car, you know. It's just located all the way in the back of the of the car lot, you know, by itself, surrounded by nothing else, right? Yeah, yeah, that's. <laughs> he made he made sure that that there was no other car near us, you know, all right? <laughs> when we turn on the ignition, you know, right? Yeah, how 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 nice and thoughtful. I mean, he could have put it. At right? the it even comes with a built-in alarm clock too, you know, right? <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, not a good idea. Yeah, don't do yeah, that. Don't you know, do that. not at all. Yeah, but Gira realized, hey, uh, no, hey, fuck, uh, fuck Rascal. You know, hey, fuck, fuck him. You know, oh, is that right? what we call you? We should just call him Rascal the King or the Rascal King. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Mm. You know, his his name is Rascal now. We refer to him as nothing else. <laughs> But mm -hmm. yeah, they're they're doing the whole uh, prisoner exchange. You know, the envoys are being uh, dickheads as per usual. Uh, and then you know, fucking you know, Yana was like about to do the whole apology thing. But then he just kind of remembers that moment where he's just like, the king is just like, fuck, fucking rascal. I hate this man so much. Like, fantastic actor piece for how he's just making him hate him so much. But it's just like, you get that flashback where he's just like, you kneel on your knees, that kind of thing. And remembering at that moment, I even got pissed. I was like, you know what? No, fuck this. I ain't bowing to that fucking asshole at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then he's just like, you know what? No, I ain't dealing with that shit. We're keep, we're keeping this guy and y'all can fuck off, right? Right. <laughs> and then it's just like the other guy is just like, hey, he's like, what the fuck are you doing, man? And it's like, and then Yama's like, no, it's like, hey, shut the fuck up, all right? I don't, I don't, I don't kiss ass to any of you guys, okay? We're gonna be fine on our own. Y'all can fuck up. Look, look, our country has vibranium, you know, right? Honestly, <laughs> yeah, they have like this all this high tech shit, like honestly. I'd be f fine with this guy like standing up to the other guy and being all like, you know what? We'll be fine on our own. Look, look at our fucking yeah, team. We have them. neon signs, you know. You guys don't even. You guys don't use street lamps. They have and flying cars or something <laughs> like that. They have such fucking high tech railways or roadways, like like the big fucking power conduits, neon signs, fucking skyscrapers, like cars. Right, and everyone tablets. in their in their in their country don't know how to dress properly, you know, right? Yeah, exactly. That, that is peak civilization, right? That, that's there. peak society right that there. Is peak when society. everyone and no one in your country can can dress coherently, you know, that knows you how much you evolve. Yeah, I mean like honestly at this point I wouldn't be surprised if they have a fucking nuke. Like I would not be surprised. <laughs> I would not be surprised. Honestly, I'm surprised they don't hold it over everybody's heads. Honestly, honestly, now that I think on it, in, in my head, it's more like they're just waiting until some kingdom fucks up so hard against them being such a dickhead. Like, hey, we have nukes. You want to show us? What, you want to see what that can do? We can yeah, send it to hey, you right away. Have you guys heard away. of just nukes you yet? Know. You know, right? We discovered nuclear fissure, you know, right? Yeah, we, 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 we've solved uh, uh, cold fusion right now, okay? <laughs> so, what we're saying is, we rule, and y'all can suck our dicks, <laughs> honestly, dude. But, like, uh, like afterwards, you know, they fucking leave, and then everyone is just kind of, like, crying and, like, cheering. I don't know, and, and it, support, you're like, oh, man, what a great president, you know, and, uh, right? And, like, uh, honestly, like, I'm kind of down with the attitude, because it's kind of, like, showing them, because, honestly, no, you, you see know, a king, great, like, great. you see a king, like, rascal, don't. Like, even, just don't. Just don't with that guy, you know? Stand up to that fucking asshole and be like, hey, man, take pride in yourselves and shit. It's actually really good, is all I'm saying. Because is, I love how mm -hmm. everyone's, like, in full support. Because they understand why he does it. Because they understand that he's standing up for them and then doing this for them. 
and then Yanma, as much as he can be similar to King Rascal, he's doing it out of, like, the goodness of his heart and the love of his people as compared to Rascal, who's only in it for himself right. and for his own game. Yeah. And so Gira, right. like, Gira initially is like, what the fuck? Look, your people are crying and they're, like, raging and shit. But, like, n no, they're... No, in no, no, they're, they're crying in support, you know? Yeah. Right? And then so it also kind of shows Gira, like, that kind of... Sh um, it really shows them that, like, not all kingdoms are going to be the same. Not all rulers are going to be the same as King Rascal. And it also shows them mm -hmm. that while they can be they can be similar, they're not the same. That Like, especially because it matters as to where the intent is. And so, like, right. it's really nice to just essentially see that Gira is learning how other rulers rule. And so he kind of takes that lesson onto himself, you know. Yeah, right? Hey, look. Hey, look. For a homeless guy, he's picking up stuff real quickly, you know, right? Yeah. For a guy who's never looked into how 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 the political how the political climax of, of his country works, he's learning a lot, you know, right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. But it's it's really it's just really nice to see like there are moments where people learn stuff, and then like especially like because in, in this kind of moment, like you you you'd be tempted to agree with Gira because like the thing is just like like someone or a per person in a position of power should do whatever they can to save the people that they govern. But it's also important mm. that the like the leader also stands up for his people and doesn't essentially cow tow or like be a fucking uh uh a bootlicker or or, yeah, or yeah. you know because then it just shows that like at that point while you're willing to do everything you can there's no pride in what you do and so your people just kind of feel like you know um mm -hmm. basically useless or basically not uh they don't feel like they've been appreciated that kind of thing and so yeah. it's just kind of like I'm not sure if I'm sp explaining that correctly or well enough, but that's basically like uh, it. It just basically shows that like there's a certain fine line that you have to stand. It's, it's just really good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, right. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah. Um. After that. Yeah. Hey, Megazord then, battle time. Well, hey, uh, once again, the yeah, visuals the is yeah. really fucking good. Yeah, it's really. Oh, also, by the way, I found out that this so so you so we see this stupid exo suit skeleton bullshit right? right yeah that they pilot right oh uh, well so at first i think this is like it's the dumbest fucking thing ever right i found out this is an actual thing like this is not some weird fucking thing that made up for the show this is something that another company already made and they're just using the design for so like they bought the design for this and now they're using it or they team up with that company that 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 had this design to use it for this show right oh, i found out this is an okay. actual this exosuit scout is an actual real life thing. Is that? I mean, I mean, it's so f fictional as fuck, obviously. Yeah, right? but, for sure. Right, but but this is an actual thing. The problem is I don't know what the original fucking um, uh, what the actual uh, original like real life practicality of this thing was used for. I just know this is an actual thing that actually exists in the real world, and it's not and it's not just super made up for for within the context of the show. I'm trying to find the original, uh, do you, the original link, right? Do you know the name the, of the company or something? Nope, it was, it's some stupid Japanese company, like always. <laughs> I mean, you can always just look up their history and see what they worked on, and then you could just figure out yeah, what yeah, they yeah. probably used it for. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to find out. I'm, 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 I'm looking for I'm gonna, uh, talk, talk about the episode while, while I look for this. Right. Anyway, we had the whole fucking, uh, the mech fight, which is actually really dynamic as shit. Because the thing is, I mean, as much as, like, it's just all CGI, and again, it depends on where the CGI okay, is. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I found uh, it, I found it. All right, but before I tell you the name of the company, what do you think the name of this company is, by the way? Uh, the ones that did the exosuit, right? Right, uh-huh, right? We see this this, this, uh, this mechanical exosuit that looks like a skeleton, you know, right? Right, right. Right? This electronic-looking skeleton used for a uh, right. What do you think the name of the of the company that makes this is called? The electronic. I mean, it, it would have to be something in Japanese. But like my best guess, if we would have to translate it, maybe it's just like um, I don't know, like uh, fantastic prop company or something. I don't know because I oh, legit. Man, I don't boy, know. this I name is way it's, cooler. It's way cooler than anything you ever... It's called Skeletronics. Okay, yeah, I, I, I knew you were putting emphasis on the skeleton thing, but I was like, nah, it can't be that simple. But it's really <laughs> called Skeleton... <laughs> oh my coolest, god! It's the coolest fucking name for a company I've ever fucking seen! Yo! <laughs> oh my god. Yo, what did they work on, dude? Oh, wow. Oh my god. No, actually, though. 
It actually looks pretty good, you know, especially from what I'm seeing. Oh my god. Yo, why is it actually I don't, I don't cool? Know. Why is it actually so cool? Oh my god. The f okay, that one looks weird as shit. <laughs> but, oh my god, these can actually look really fucking cool. So. I, I don't know what the fuck you're actually supposed to use this fucking. I, I, I. Like, it looks like if it's like, um, it looks like it's a lot for like cosplay. Um, because like, if you wanted to do a Gundam cosplay as a, uh, like to. Uh, actually cosplay like the actual Gundams it feels like you would go to yeah. this company in order to do that they would make you an exoskeleton to actually you know move the oh, oh I, I could be I could be the fucking uh, thing from uh, from aliens the, oh boy did they make the fucking uh, oh uh, you the... mean from from aliens the, the, the fucking uh, the the giant uh, that uh Rip, the, the, the construction, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the power the unit. El, the Ellen Ripley uses in, in the fucking thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Think they can make me that shit? Dude. Um, yeah, but this company's name is Skeletronics. Yeah. This is not just some weird, stupid fantasy bullshit that they made. Oh. That's actually pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, at first when I looked at it, I was like, God, this thing is so fucking ugly and so fucking primitive in, in, in technology in comparison to, like, the actual shows. Right? But then again, the show is set in primitive Earth. In like a primitive medieval earth, yeah, right, with the exception of, of Neo Petopia, right. But I was like, this character looks so fucking. So then I found out, oh no, it's real, it's real. This actually you know what looks I, like. You know what I don't get? Because I don't remember if they like the, the thing is like there was like those whole um upgrades in in Dawn Brothers, right? When they had the power up yeah. suits, right? Why didn't they have uh -huh. something like those uh, skeleton suits? That would have been fucking cool. You know, yeah. Because like, and, it's, and, it's and, just in my head. Cause, because like, cause I totally didn't think about it until now, all right? Oh my God, because, they didn't know about this couple because the thing is, until now. Yeah, because it's just like looking at the exoskeletons that they have. Like, again, it's like you could literally cosplay a mech, right? They could literally have the actors or the stunt actors in these giant mechs, right? And then have them like, well, like basically. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what it. the actual mobility of, of, of these of these skeletons, right? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they're actually designed to be like like high high mobility or just be like simple feet to walk around and be like wave and that's it you know it's it's, it's like it's like in uh in orlando's for the transformer um for the transformer uh uh shows right they have like actual uh uh robot suits that they put the actors in right uh -huh. to walk around as optimus prime starscream right, right. bumblebee etc etc but those suits are are just made for Walking and waving, and that's it. Uh, that's Don't ask true. them to do anything else, cause that's uh, true. cause it turns out Optimus Prime's greatest enemy in, in, on planet Earth is a gust of wind. <laughs> if the if the wind is, is is too strong, Optimus Prime uh, hides. You know. Like, uh -oh. <laughs> oh my god. No, but like the thing, like I get that. Like uh, actually, from what I'm hearing from you, it makes sense. But like. The image that I saw on their site, like it just be so. Oh wait, this cool. is sick as fuck. Yeah, this it is just, cool as it'd fuck. It'd be cool. It'd be so cool. Like, if it's just a matter of practicality and just not being able to get the fluid movements and action that you need, I get it. So I, at this point, I I recognize it as a pipe. It's a it's a bit of a pipe dream, but like God, I wish. I actually just wish. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, so I know. Yeah, they they fight the they fight the whatever the fuck this week's uh bug thing is, no, and then uh, yeah. uh oh, it's too fast. It's too fast. They, that thing is moving. They cannot keep up, you know? Uh-oh. But don't worry. Uh, group hacking. It's time to group <laughs> hack, you know? Everyone hack together, you know? Right? Oh, no, yeah, for sure. But I did like how um fast-paced, like, they actually, like, make it so that it's, like, they're flying through the city and they're having this active battle and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, not a fan of the property damage, if only because of the people that are living in it. Yeah, I don't know. They, they can rebuild, you know, right? Yeah, but it's just, it's just really cool to, like, see how, like, quick and fast like these battles are and like how like uh-huh right yeah show, like, like there's they... actually so much effort being put into this into this season's battle and, like like in, in comparison to like other seasons yeah, right because they legit have it so like he loses the sword at one point so you kind of see it flying off and so like this is also it's very interesting to note like the fact that like the exoskeleton for the blue range he's actually in the sword and so he can manually fly the sword on his own but we'll get to bat that in a minute but it's just like mm -hmm. Well, he loses a sword, but he knocks the bug, uh, the bug into the building, and then he like flies towards the bug dude, and then pushes him through the building, crashes into another building, and that building just splits in half and starts crashing down. It's fucking cool as shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just like a lot of action, like a lot of uh, uh dynam dynamism. It's a lot of dynamics that yeah. are going on. But yeah, it's uh -huh, really fast right. No, yeah, no, that's right. And so, mm -hmm. um, then, then we get to the part where it's like, oh, he's too fast and everything. All right, time for a hacking battle. And then everyone in the, in, in the fucking city. All right, everyone, 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 all right, 
Eric, open up your copy of Atari, you know, right? Get the Atari on. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's like, all right. Remember, oh, like, <laughs> uh, they talked to the grandpa. I was like, okay, grandpa, we're going to make it easy for you. Here's a floppy disk, okay? Go back to your 19, like 1998 mm-hmm. at Windows XP, okay? Yeah. Go on. Go go hack, you know? Yeah, and then uh, we get the bug. We get the fucking roly-poly bug. That's just a giant fucking mate. Uh, uh, pill, uh, well, the pill bug, whatever the fuck. That's just a ball in a chain. And that's it. Yeah, you know, he's basically a giant... Um, yeah, I'm actually amazed that means we're already being introduced to all these... Aux- I mean, there's already auxiliary mech on the Megazord, per se. Right, yeah. But, like, we're actually getting just like, the actual auxiliary um, side mech that uh, that they use. Like, we're already seeing the pill bug in action, right? Oh, that yeah. Means, hey, look, William. Look, that means we might see the fucking snail Gatling gun way sooner than we thought, Dude, you know? I swear to God, it has to, like, they're teasing the problem it is, William, I don't know if you so noticed this, but when, uh, wherever the fuck his name was coming out with the pill bug, did you saw no, who was I on did. in the background? I did dude? see it slowly driving in the background, it's, just like, they're it's te- slowly <laughs> teasing you. It's just, it's slowly teasing you, like, oh, hey, my time is coming up next. Dude, I'm you gonna know? be so annoyed if the reason they, if they make a joke, like, the reason why it took so long for us to use the, the fucking snail. It ha- we had to wait until episode 5 until the whole team is back together for us to use this fucking Gatling gun of a fucking snail, dude. Okay, I, I, I really just want to see this fucking Gatling gun dude, scale so I'm, much I now. told you, I told you last time how my dream of fucking like snail Gatling gun was gonna go. I want it to be on episode 5 now. I need it to happen on that day, alright? Because uh, they're, they're teasing us with this so fucking slowly. There was no point for them to not use it. Because a Bullet works just as no, well as a what fucking do you mean? bug, okay? You got the, what do you mean? The, the only thing that can catch up with a flying enemy is a giant ball on a chain, you know, oh right? My God, Nothing dude. else can reach that, oh you know, right? Oh, God. I need, I need the snail Gatling gun in my life, man. I might just go ahead and, like... Uh, I don't know if the toys are out yet. I'm assuming they are. But oh, I'm... yeah, it's all out. It's all out. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to buy the Snail Gatling Gun, and that's it. Just the Snail Gatling Gun? Not even the Megazord? No, just the <laughs> Snail Gatling Gun. That's all I'm going to have. I'm going to keep it in a box. That will be my prized possession right there. <laughs> You're going to see it sitting right on my bookshelf. Like, I'm going to have a whole bunch oh, no, of valuable... Hold on, hold on. Is, is, that, is that what you're going to leave in your will, you know, right? Yeah. <laughs> my dearest, I live in my most prized possession. The Snail Gatling Gun from old. <laughs> <laughs> exactly that will be my most prized possession like i'll give like like i'm gonna make it an emphasis to everybody in my family this is my most prized possession and when i die a fucking billionaire because i'm just gonna i'm gonna make a point okay because i'm gonna make it a point that i'll be a fucking billionaire i leave my money to maybe I may, maybe i'll leave a couple million to my kids or something right but for my favorite kid i'll just give him the snail gatling gun and that's it <laughs> Jeez. Nothing else. No land. No tiles. No nothing. That way, they know that they just were the snail, just, <laughs> that just, they were my yeah. favorite child. Because all they get yeah. is the snail Gatling gun toy. Jesus and that's it. <laughs> oh, uh, we, I think we also forgot to mention it. But there was this interesting bit. I think it's kind of cool myself. But like the fact that the Red Ranger can legit just exit out of his fucking mech and into this fucking like um. Speeder bike, yes, the yeah, speeder yeah. bike mm-hmm. thing is pretty fucking cool. I'm not gonna lie. Uh-huh. And he's just like, I, what did he do? Because it was such a quick action. I forgot what he was trying to do. But he's like, I he hit something. Her- catching up the enemy, right? Like, was that what he was no, doing? No, he was shooting at somebody. That was that was made clear from what I just saw. But I don't know if it was at the main big bug enemy. Because personally, I feel like he's too small for it to be to have enough of an impact in order to just you know stall. But like. He basically shoots at the enemy. Cool fucking speeder bike. I'm not gonna lie. I hope we see more of this in a more of a casual setting. Maybe without the mech. Maybe he's just chasing an enemy down in the speeder bike. I would love to see uh-huh. if that's the case. But uh, I guess he goes back into the mech. And then, you know, they power up, like, the fucking big tower shit. And then, you know, they mm-hmm. they uh, with the they have the, the fucking pill bug... Um, finisher, you know, right? And they finish him off. I don't remember what it was. Yeah, they yeah, power yeah. put the juice, and then they just finish him off and everything. And then you know, mm. uh, they win the day. And the then, day is saved, mm-hmm. you know, right? Yeah, and then everyone's like, "Yeah, we won. We we saved the day." And yeah, everything. like he's our president, you know, right? Mm-hmm. And then everyone's all just all glad that you know they're with the president and everything. And then Gear is still trying to be like, "Hey, with you at my side, we'll have no problem with like fucking dealing with uh, Rascal." And then. Uh, you know, Yanma being Yanma is just like, no, what the f- 
fuck are you saying? Get the fuck out of my kingdom, dude. I ain't doing that shit. And then, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then immediately afterwards, in the most political bizarre, kidnapping, they were straight up snatched in front of that's everybody. That's kidnapping. That's an international incident. Is, if I ever fucking no, saw. yeah, that's how you start wars, my guy. That's how uh, like a full blown on war. Like at this point, uh, Inksupa or and. In- Super. Right, it's, it's yeah, so. Neopetopia. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just calling this fucking yeah. country Neopetopia. Yeah. Ne- ne- Neopetopia is essentially like gonna be at war with the rest of the UN at this point, because <laughs> and it's gonna be because of the Yellow Rangers' uh, fault because you just straight mm-hmm. up snatched them and then that's the yeah, end of the just episode. straight up kidnap. Like, like it makes sense, right? If she only kidnapped uh, Gira, right, to progress the plot of him going around meeting all the other fucking countries, but no, she fucking takes the other uh, takes Yama as well. Like oh. Uh, probably not a good idea to do that, you know. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know why you want to do that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, come on. That's like you're asking for trouble between your two kingdoms at that at that point. But I mean, that's where the episode ends, and then we get left with the teaser of just like the next episode, and it's mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's honestly it. We don't even get like end credits or anything either. So like. I'm kind of surprised right. that we don't get that either. I was also uh, expecting like the, at least the end credits with like the song that they use for it or something, you know. But no, yeah. it's just it's we left with the teaser and then that's it. So it seems to me at the very least that there's going to be a lot more story focused and more on focused on how, on driving the plot forward rather than you know uh, really just showing off the Sentai as Sentai is, wants to do. Especially because you know with the tr- I mean they they they're allowed to do with the mech because the mech is cool as shit, but like. I ha- we haven't seen in, like an opening for the show. We haven't seen like uh, any major uh, costume transformations. Although you and you and I both theorized that will probably happen once they're all together to really show them off. Right, right. And then we don't have an ending, a- ending song or credits either. So like. I'm not pointing these out to be a bad thing because I enjoy it myself because this gives us a lot more content to view and to focus on rat, uh, really for the story of it because, on, because this is just kind of uh, working on the rule of cool uh, if only because like all these kingdoms are cool as shit and just seeing what, what, uh, all the wacky hijinks that happen and I'm fine with that I'm just kind of surprised by it and I don't mind this t- uh this change of pace that they're doing in, in, in this version of this season. Of yeah, Sentai. right. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm very curious. Like, they're definitely, like I said, as I said, like, like as, as, as I can tell you how Sentai's been in this front. And they're definitely experimenting more now, right? Mm-hmm. Changing the formula a bit, right? Of, 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 of how the shows are done. Because it's been a while, I think, since I've actually seen a Sentai show where, where all the teamers are introduced one by one uh, like this. You know, like they're actively taking their time. Like, like you know... Because of this. Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, that's definitely appreciative. Because, like, we do, again, it's just like, because last episode was basically set up but a lot of Gira. Because he is the Red Ranger, and that's how we're setting up his story. Because he's going to be driving everything forward. And then here, yeah, yeah. it's just basically just, like, introduction of the Blue Ranger, his thing, and his people, how he rules. Basically, we get an understanding of his character all in this episode. So, I'm assuming, again, because of the Yellow Ranger... It's going to be the same thing. And I really like how they're doing it. Because they're not wasting their time with it. Um, they're really, like, they're, they're taking their time to explain the characters in just the one episode. And then they're going to go ahead, explain that character, and then do the same thing over and over. Until they get the whole team together. And then we go on with the mm. rest of the plot. And the thing is, we're not even, like, missing a lot of plot either. Because there's still plot being put into this. Because they're still driving the story forward in, in the terms of, like, we're introduced to the main villain, his motivations... And the fact that he is a powerful threat, but he has other things that are basically stopping him from basically wiping out all of humanity in one go. Right, right. Mm-hmm, and so mm-hmm. it's just like, it's really good so far. And so I'm hoping they really keep up with the trend. Because honestly, it's just up and up right now. So I'm hoping right. it doesn't go down for, downhill as it was with... Because we had these exact same comments in Zenkaiju. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, yeah. because they were taking the time putting that team together too. And I believe in... Don Brothers, they also took their time with... I know, but it, it, it's like really what they well. say, you know? It only takes 44 episodes to get all five members, to, to get all five Rangers to transform us together, you know, right? That's still wild as fuck to me. I cannot believe that they actually waited that long. Even Zenkaiju didn't take that long. Zenkaiju didn't take that long at all. And then fucking Don Brothers does that. I'm like, what the fuck? the hell how is it they gonna go 44 episodes and not know who the black ranger is what the hell 
<laughs> but in here, at least they know who they are, and then we're gonna be introduced to them. They're gonna be in the team. I know this for a fact because they, they all know each other at this point. It's only Gira who doesn't know them, and he's he's slowly being introduced to them episode by episode. So I'm pretty sure we're not gonna have that. I'm hoping we. This is like honestly, at this point, I'm hoping King Oger is gonna be the best one, and it's gonna probably like top everything we've seen so far. I don't know if it's going to top uh, Jetman, because I still fucking love Jetman. Mm -hmm. But... Right, uh-huh, uh-huh. This is looking pretty good so far. But we're two episodes in, so right. we'll, we'll, I'm, I'm very excited, but we'll, I will withhold judgment. Again, we'll withhold judgment until the series review by the end of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that's my rant. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's definitely, it's, it's, it's definitely very interesting. I do like how the story beats. I mean, take it how like the story is actually engaging, right? You know, so, so far, right? I really see how it goes. Oh my! Also, by the way, a little bit of Timmy I found out. So I found out. So as you said, so as you know, right? Uh, with starting with Zen Kaiser, they they're switching to this new five year plan that they're gonna try to do re re injuring the the Sentai formula right. and and everything. So I found out, and they are they already fucking it up. I thought they already abandoned one of their plans. It turned out. Oh. So apparently, one of the plan was to build like a greater quote unquote continuity, right? So their plan was to have the previous ranger of that season appear in the next season as a uh, as a supporting character, right? That's why we that's the really the reason why we had Kaito in um, in Dawn Brothers, right? I found right. out. What? What? Yeah. So, but they're not doing that with, with King Order. They already abandoned their plan, apparently. So there you go. What? Yeah. What the fuck? yeah. After after one year, they're like, oh well, that this plan isn't working out. Let's uh let's abandon it. Oh, that's really wild. <laughs> yeah. So apparently, for what I read, the original plan was that was that every sequential season from here. For like the next five years, that was that the previous ranger or some ca cast member was gonna appear as like a supporting background character for for the for that next season. Oh yeah, but this it, clearly they haven't done that for this one. So yeah, yeah, wow, that's wild. I mean, I wouldn't yeah, have huh, minded huh. it so much as long as they didn't weren't disruptive or you know they were explained, you know, because apparently <laughs> fucking uh, Kaito or Kaito Art uh, Alter. Right? I think it's <laughs> okay. Is that, is that what you're going to call him? Kaito Alter? That's basically what he is. That's what he is. <laughs> okay, because okay. everyone acknowledges that he was a hero. I bet you think Saber's the best fucking character, too. Okay, literally. Bird. Okay, look. Fucking people who, who think Saber is the best character are just fucking plebeians, okay? They have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. They're just oh, basic okay, ass okay, fucking oh. bitches, alright? They have no taste, alright? If anything, okay, okay, it's oh. fucking. Look, if we're talking about the three mains in fucking Fate Stay Night, and fight me on this. I will fucking fight every each and every fucking one of you who even thinks that right, right, point about this. Right, right. was best. This is hate out. Oh, she was the best. Right, right. Okay, I refuse to take this line. This is the hill I die on.